Good morning, everybody. I'm Mike Ashworth, and thank you for watching. So I'm going to dive in to the never-ending, age-old debate about what is better, live bait or artificial. And I'm going to tell you why I think artificial is better almost always, and I'm going to give you five reasons why you should switch to artificial, or at least give it a shot if you haven't already. So here it is, top five reasons why artificial bait is better than live. Let's get started. All right, for many, many years, I use live bait pretty much all the time. Uh, I would rarely ever pull out artificials, and some point last year, I just kind of decided that I am sticking to artificial and artificial only. I, I know that there are going to be some people that are definitely going to disagree with uh, pretty much this entire video. Uh, and I also agree that there are times where live bait is absolutely the best choice. In fact, in a few months, come midsummer time, one of the best baits that you can use is throwing live croaker under a popping cord for those big monster trout. I can guarantee that you're going to see me do that at least once or twice this summer. But I still believe that artificial is better than live bait most of the time. And I'm going to give you five reasons why I think that. So here they go. All right, number five is price. I don't care how you do the math. It is cheaper to fish with artificial. Always. Uh, now I know what you're saying. I've got a few hundred dollars worth of artificial right here, and honestly, I've got a lot more in the garage as well. But uh, I still have these, and uh, I can guarantee that you don't have that pound of shrimp that you bought three weeks ago. Uh, some of these lures I bought over a year ago. And as an initial investment, if you were to go out and buy this all at once, I agree that's very, very expensive, but most of us don't do that what we do, like me. I go to you know, the fishing store, or I'll stop at uh, Bucky's on my way down to um, fish and I'll pick up a bag or two of these. These are, you know, between five and 10 bucks per bag. So if you pick up one or two at a time, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, in fact, you're paying the same amount as you would for live anyway, but you get to keep this at the end of the day and you get to use it for months. So it's just cheaper. Now, before any of you comment below, I know if you go out and you, um, you know, or catching your own live bait, you got a cast net and you uh, catch that, yes, that's cheaper, but you also had to buy a cast net. And uh, even if you get your live bait for free, it is still cheaper to use artificial because you can't just throw live bait by itself. You also have to buy hooks and weights and popping corks and all of that. So it's still cheaper to use artificial. Uh, the only thing you really need, especially for soft plastics, is the soft plastic and uh, jig heads, and you keep those. Um, it's just cheaper, all the way around. There's a, uh, now, when you get into some of your lures, some of these can be a little bit expensive, but again, I still have them, and I get to use them for years and years and years. Uh, and I just continue to increase my collection, you know, month by month, I'll go and I'll pick up some lures here and there, I'll pick up some soft plastics and uh, try different things out. It's just cheaper. All the way around, it's cheaper. Number four is options. Options. All right, when you're fishing with live bait, you're generally going to a bait shop. You're getting either shrimp, squid, crab, mullet, or crooker. That's pretty much it. Um, I know there's a few others, but those are the five main baits that everybody gets. And that's the only options you have, really. But with artificial, uh, those options are endless. Uh, I can change colors, I can change shapes, I can go with big baits, I can go with small baits, I can go with different shape baits, I can go with much bigger. And I know a lot of you say, you know, I catch so much more fish on shrimp and, you know, fish really, really like shrimp. Well, artificial shrimp. Solve that problem. And fish, fish are picky. Some days they're really, really picky. There have been many, many days that I've been out there using artificial and not get bites and immediately switch to another color and then just start slamming fish. It happens all the time uh, because fish are picky. I actually just switched to this uh, HRL, this, this pink lure here, 
and uh, that was the very first cast on it. So, Ooh. so I'll switch over to the uh, Color X and uh, two casts in. With artificial, I have the ability and the option to change immediately and, and really target fish at what they want that day because it's different from day to day. And so artificial gives me that ability to catch more fish, to, to change um, to change that, to change the presentation. Now, beyond the color and the size and, and things like that, um, artificials, just by changing a lure or changing a certain jig head, you can change your entire presentation. Every single one of these, uh, these different brands of soft plastics and these different lures, they, they do different things in the water. Sometimes they're really, really jerky. Sometimes they have a really, really smooth action. I can also change um, where I'm fishing uh, with the presentation. I, you know, some of these lures work really well just dragging them across the bottom. Some of these, like top waters, will sit on the top of the water. When you use live bait, you're either putting a weight on or you're setting it under a popping cork. And so when you throw it out, you're generally, wherever it lands, that's where you're fishing and you let it sit there for, you know, a few minutes, let's say five minutes. If you're using artificial, however, if I were to cast in the exact same spot, well, I'm fishing that area all the way back to me. And generally I'm going to cast four or five times before you pull that in. So while you are covering that one spot that your bait landed, I am fanning my cast and I'm covering an entire area in the same amount of time. So I'm just increasing my odds of catching fish. All right, number three, it's just more fun to use artificial, period. Um, when you're using live bait and you throw your, uh, your live bait out into the water, you're generally just going to let it sit there for a few minutes and you're going to wait. And, uh, sometimes you're going to wait for a while. I've done it. Uh, like I said in the past, I used to use live pretty much nonstop, but when you do that, it's just boring. It's boring while you're sitting there waiting. Now I know sometimes you'll get into those schools of fish where every cast you're going to, you know, immediately hook up on something, but that's not all the time. And so when you're using live, you just let it sit there and, you know, kind of look around and wait and hope that your rod goes off at some point. But when you're using artificial, you're, you're constantly doing something. You're casting, you're retrieving, you're changing things, you're changing your presentation. You know, if that's not working, you're changing your color. So you, you constantly have something going on and it's just a lot more fun. It's a lot more interactive to fish with artificial than it is with live bait. And you get to sit there and try all kinds of different things. You know, if you want to, you can start kind of bouncing it off the bottom. If you want to start fishing top water, you can do that. If you want to speed up uh, your retrieve, uh, there's just a lot of options to do that. And it's just so much more fun. You know, it's a much more interactive experience of fishing and it's a blast. Number two, you're gonna catch better fish. Uh, if you've fished with live shrimp more than about three minutes, you're you're gonna realize that most of the time that you lose that bait, it's gonna be these tiny little fish that uh, just kind of destroy your bait while it's on your hook. Uh, you can barely even feel them because they're so small. Secondly, if you do hook up, you're gonna hook up onto a lot of tiny fish. In fact, when I used to fish with live shrimp all the time, I would catch 10, 15 small little fish, you know, whiting and croaker and things like that. that just a lot of trash fish that you don't want. And so you're gonna spend a lot of time unhooking those, putting new bait on, throwing it back out and waiting again. So with artificial, when you do hook up on a fish, generally it's a much, much better fish. I'll go out and I'll target trout and redfish and flounder. And that's pretty much all I catch. Occasionally you'll find something else. Now, one of the biggest issues when you're using like live shrimp or some of that other stuff is catfish. You will catch tons and tons and tons of catfish on live shrimp that just kind of sits there or live bait in general. With artificial, you pretty much eliminate all those trash fish that you don't want. You're not going to catch many catfish. You're not going to catch any of those, you know, small things like crooker and whiting. Most of the things that you hook up are going to be nice fish. Uh, even if they're undersized and they're not really the size that you want, you're going to catch better fish. They're going to be more fun. Even, you know, little rat reds, you'll catch those all the time. You got to throw them back either way, but it's still a lot more fun to catch a rat red than it is to catch a small lighting. Um, so, 
you're going to increase your chances of catching better fish. Not only that, but you're going to increase your chances of catching bigger fish. All right, number one is it's going to make you a better fisherman when you use artificial. And here's why. Because as the seasons change and as you learn a little bit more, you're going to have to change the colors and you're going to have to change the presentation that you, you fish with and you're going to have to change the size. And then you start learning about things like water clarity. And those, that really matters when you're talking about artificial. There are certain seasons and certain times of the year and water clarity where you need to use certain colors. When the water's darker, you want to use darker baits. When the water's lighter, you can start using brighter colors and um, softer colors. And so you, you actually learn a lot more about what fish want and, and how to catch them. When you're using live bait, you're pretty much stuck with just that and hoping that they can actually find your bait, you know. Beyond that, because you're using, you know, your rod and reel so much more, you, you become so much more proficient in, in casting and hooking up and feeling and understanding your rod rather than just waiting for your rod to go off and then you start reeling it in. Um, when you're using artificial, sometimes those fish will barely hit it and you can start feeling the difference between the bottom and knowing when a fish is actually messing with your, with your lure. And you, you just understand your rod, your reel, and your lure a lot more. And you, you learn so much more by fishing with artificial than you do with live. All right, guys, well, I hope this video helped um, if you're new to using artificial or if you want to try to get into it, definitely go give it a shot. It's actually, my buddy Ruben from Texas All Water Fishing uh, just did a beginner video on soft plastic. So if you're trying to get into it, you don't know very much, that's that's a great video to go watch. I'll post it up above so that you can, uh, you can go check that out. It's definitely worth it. If you've never used artificial, I would highly suggest that you at least give it a shot. Try it out. You'll thank me later, I promise. Um, don't get discouraged because it, it is a learning. I mean, there's a lot to learn when it comes to artificial, but in the long run, it will help you be a better fisherman. It'll help you catch more fish. And that's the point at the end of the day, regardless if you're using live or if you're using artificial, all we really want to do is catch more fish, catch better fish. And that's the point. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video, comment below, and uh, hit that bell notification if you want to get notified when I post up a new video. Thank you all so much. I appreciate every one of you, and we will see you next time.